Welcome back on this Wednesday. Glad you're joining us. Remember, as we are continuing, Jesus is journeying now to Jerusalem. Uh, we're going to read the first 16 verses of chapter 10. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money bag, no knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house, and if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, Go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we will wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near. But I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. The one who hears you hears me, and the one who rejects you rejects me. And the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. A little bit difficult passage, isn't it? It starts out uh, to a way kind of similar that we saw earlier, the sending out of the 72, um, in a way similar to the sending out of the 12, right? They were to take no money, nothing like that. Uh, they were to enter the house and to stay there. They were to heal and to proclaim. Here, a little bit more emphasis is on the proclaiming that the kingdom of God has come. But there are also ways that it was different. Um, the, the part where he focuses and, and says that the laborers are few, but the harvest is plentiful. That's a newer part as he shows that he's expanding his ministry. Uh, another part uh, where he says, um, I'm sending you like lambs to the slaughter. In other words, this isn't going to be the easiest. And then he does a lot of talking, um, saying that if they reject those, uh, th those that Jesus is sending, that it would be more bearable for Sodom in the day of judgment for, than for that town. So, so what is Sodom? Remember, that is one of the cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, the evil cities that God rained down fire and destroyed. That's what will happen. They will be destroyed. Their destruction will be worse. And then he goes into uh, a few woes. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. Um, again, focusing on judgment that's happening. And the reason for the judgment, oh, by the way, Chorazin and Bethsaida are both, uh, Bethsaida we talked about a couple days ago, um, they are kind of to the north of, uh, of the Sea of Galilee, not far from Capernaum. Uh, see, Jesus had done miracles, had done teaching in those areas. And while many followed, not all did. They did not repent. So why woes? because they weren't repentant after seeing these great signs. If we look at all of this, uh, oh, and by the way, he said it'd be better for Tyre and Sidon. Tyre and Sidon were, were non-Jewish cities. In other words, those had rejected Jesus in a way, even though they had seen the signs, Tyre and Sidon hadn't seen it. And even though they weren't part of God's people, it would be better for them because they hadn't seen it. 
than Chorazin and Bethsaida and Capernaum who had seen it. Remember, Capernaum was even Jesus' adopted hometown in many ways, where he based his ministry while he was in Galilee. It ends with this little bit, whoever hears you, hears me. The one who rejects you, rejects me. And the one who rejects me, rejects him who sends me. If they reject the 72, those that Jesus sends out, they reject Jesus and they reject the Father. For us, this passage is a call to repentance. A call to repentance because here we have heard of the mighty works of God. To be honest, we have even seen some of his miracles. We have seen lives changed by the working of God. We have seen people healed who thought wouldn't be healed. We have seen Christ's work through the waters of baptism, through the word, through his sacrament, strengthening and keeping us. And we're called to repent, to turn, to trust the Lord, to be his disciple. Come back tomorrow. We'll continue to look at Luke chapter 10.